Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 5000 series models laptop. This one is an exact model, is a 5559 model. This model has been discontinued since 2017, but there is still production for the parts on this one. And one of the things that people keep asking me how to replace your keyboard. If your keyboard is uh, failing, you have few keys not working, they're not repairable, you must change the whole keyboard. I'll leave the link in the description for the new keyboard. The keyboard with a backlight and keyboards without the backlight. You can put any of them. It doesn't have to be a um, backlight. But the backlights are a little more expensive. But if you don't care about the backlighting of the keyboard, then just get a normal one. To replace the keyboard is really, really simple. You don't need any screwdrivers or anything like that. All you need is a, a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick or something like this. Really hard and tough. And the process is really simple. All you need to do is to power off the laptop completely. Make sure it's powered off. Remove the battery. To remove the battery, you, have, you should be able to know this one. You just pull this trigger to one side and the battery will just come out easy. So on this one that didn't come up with a battery, the client didn't uh, have the battery with him. So remove the battery and the battery removing is not necessary. You don't have to remove the battery, but if you want to. All right. Now we're looking at the keyboard. We're going to realize there is a tiny clips right there between the escape and F1. Right over the F5 on the gap, there's a little tiny clip right there. F10. Between insert and delete, there's one and one right at the far back. So what you want to do, you want to stop in the middle by the F10. You want to stick this guitar pick right there. And you pretty much stick it in there and pushing the clip towards the screen. So push, it, put it there and just slide the clip right there and bring it over. Don't, let the, don't push the keyboard back down. If you push it down, it's just going to snap back in place. So just release that clip. Release the clip on the left side, release clip on the right side. Now you got two or three up, lift it up a little bit. And while you're holding it up, and uh, start releasing the rest of them. Once you got those, you want to pull it up from the middle. So you lose up the sides, bring it, pull it towards the motherboard, towards the screen. And you're going to lose up this uh, hinges right here. And this... Once you loosen up, now you want to slowly, gently bring it over. You want to see the backlight cable right here and the flex cable for the screen. To remove the backlight, all you need to do is put your fingernail on the back cover here and just lift it up 90 degrees and slide out the flex cable. Same thing here. So pretty much you put your fingernail on the back and lifting it up and slide out in 45 degree angle. This is your keyboard. If you want again, get one without the backlight, you will not have this cable, or just get one with the backlight. The exact model for this one, it's CN-07TT4J. That's the model for the uh, Dell part number. But you can buy this one uh, just based on the uh, laptop model. So if you search on Dell Inspiron 5559 models, you want to find this one. I'll try to find the link and leave it in the description so you guys can purchase. Once you get the new lap keyboard in, just remember that this uh, key uh, flex has a little ear lobes on the sides. So there's a tiny little ear lobes that is on the, each side of this one. Uh, if you guys can see tiny bumps on the sides here and over here. Now, all you want to do, you don't want to put this one straight uh, inward. You want to Bring it down in 45 degrees towards the connectors all the way in and then sit it down towards the motherboard and then lock it down. And bring it a little closer so you can reach this auto flex cable. Again, this one has a little earlock on the side. So what you want to do, you want to bring it down in 45 degrees all the way in and then towards the motherboard and lock it in place. And next thing is to grab the keyboard, bring it over and slide down the Bottom hinges, bottom corner clips here, all the way underneath. And press the sides down. Only You don't need to press it in the middle. Press the clips. Make sure you hear those tiny clicks. And then you are all set to go. I hope you guys like this video and 
help you guys to replace your keyboard if it did please click that like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel i really appreciate it and again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video